Hello, welcome to Life of Linda Lee, and we are currently in Oliver in the Okanagan and off to hopefully catch some really big bass. Uh, we've had insider information that it's on fire right now. I don't believe it until there's a eight pound bass on my line, so let's see how it goes. It was our first full day of the trip. We had stopped by my mom's in the morning before heading off to bass fish. Okay, so that's a small mouth. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh! Brad was quick to catch the first one, and then it was my turn. And come back. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's way too fun. That's a big fish too, actually. That's much, a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it's like sea water, isn't it? <laughs> hey, big one, yeah. That's a big honker. <laughs> So this is my second smallmouth bass, and way bigger than the one I caught on the island. So I'm super excited. Rod just got one before me, and it was awesome. At one point, I decided to try some spinners instead of the generic sparkly worm we were using, and I was able to hook a largemouth. I also had a great idea to cast to a fish under a log. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 oh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh. 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 oh, that's a big one. I was so worried he was going to wrap himself up in the underwater tangles, but I managed to get him in pretty quickly. You got a friend coming! Great. The heat of midday was cooking us. After about a dozen fish, we headed back. The next day, it was me and my mom's turn to fish together. In the morning, we fed her guinea pig Morty and headed off to the same spot. And of course, it wasn't long before my mom and me got into some beasts. Oh, so we just found wild asparagus that we're gonna take for dinner. Yeah, so these shoots are a bit old, so we're not gonna take these ones. But these guys are still good to eat. Oh, that's tender. Like Too bad we only found two. We hooked many others, but I wasn't interested in filming much and just wanted to spend the day fishing with my mom. We were eager to get in our canoe and paddle around Vaso Lake and explore. Western painted turtles were everywhere in the lake, sunning themselves in the first warm sunny week since winter. As you can see, they're absolutely gorgeous underneath. Um, the invasive red-eared sliders, which I've caught before and we'll put a little snippet in, are very ugly underneath and dark and they have the red side on their neck. Wow, what beautiful specimens! You can really see why they're called the western painted turtle. 
And when holding turtles, I always hold them at the back. They have very powerful back legs and claws. Even sometimes holding them the side, they'll get a grip and claw you, as you see right there. So I just hold them at the back like this, let them flip around. Don't get your fingers anywhere near their mouths. You will lose a finger. Yeah! I'm a firm believer that catching turtles is way more fun than bass fishing. But of course, there's a time when you have to put the turtles away and fish. Got myself a giant kokanee. <laughs> oh. Aside from the northern pike minnow, we were able to catch some smallmouth bass and largemouth bass, but not as big as the ones caught at the other place. Yeah, so we just stopped for a rest stop. We've been bass fishing and watching bass chase turtles and also catching turtles ourselves, but or just walk. I'm just looking for snakes. It's been a great day. My mom says it's the first sunny week down here that's actually been hot and not cold at night, so that's super nice. It's so pretty. On this day, we decided to go hunt for morel mushrooms. This was my first time actively hunting for them, and my mom was pretty new to it too. Morels grow a year after a forest fire. I have to say, walking through the burnt remains of a forest is eerie. Old bones were lying everywhere, uncovered when the pine needles burnt away. New growth had slowly started sprouting, and I was lucky enough to witness a cicada hatch. My mom spotted the first morels in a burnt tree root system, and we quickly realized we had found our own little honey hole. We were finding them everywhere. There, there's morels everywhere. I actually don't know where first to look. My shoes, pants, and every part of my body was covered in ash. I finally understood the appeal of morel hunting. At one point, we were literally on our hands and knees crawling to the mushrooms because they were only about a foot apart, and every time we took our eyes away, we spotted another and lost sight of the first one right beside it. I was so fascinated by where the morels were growing, popping up under burnt logs in places you wouldn't expect a fungus to grow. He's really squished. Poor guy, he's deformed. He, the rock was in the way and he just couldn't make it. I do have to say, for the first time morale hunting, this is super fun. It's like herping, but you get to eat them. <laughs> the beast. To make the ashy forest seem even more eerie, I managed to stumble upon a decaying grouse. Sure caught skink mating season. Northern alligator lizard. I think they are. What's the difference between a skink and a lizard? That's something I should know. Got your hemi penis what a out. To be able to actually witness that. I know. I didn't know they were so chompy. Yeah. Well, better let them do their fornicating. <laughs> fornicating lizards were there to remind us that even after a forest fire, life still prevails and continues on. We headed home with a bag full of morels. My Mother's Day vacation was a success. As always, I thank Fishing with Rod for bringing me up to my mother and sharing the good bass fishing spots. And shout out to my mother, just for being awesome. If you like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all soon on my next video.